22 inches. By four. 10th, which is what I call a uh, external pitch. Uh, I don't know if they call it external pitch. This is a tent where the poles are on the outside, so that way you don't have an inner tent and an outer tent. They're all connected. And then you just uh, pitch the tent like this, and it wrecks the whole tent at the same time. <clears throat> so this is the Ozark Trail, one person backpacking. I bought this off the shelf at my local Walmart for $24. So there are no guy outlines except for the one right there, which is the uh, kind of a roof vent, I guess. I do like the colors. Uh, it is fiberglass poles. The main pole is a little bit bigger diameter. It's probably around a seven or eight, maybe a six. The ridge pole, which helps extend the head and the sides is a smaller diameter pole. So other than that one guy out, that's it. We do have decent size metal stakes. And then they do give you plenty of stakes. There were two, four, six, eight stakes, so four corners. And then I put an extra stake right here where the pole goes. And it's just an opening in the end of the pole and then a spike on that ring, it goes into the pole. So I added an extra stake there. You got a stake here for the uh, door, the vestibule. And then the other stake right there. No guy lines, no guy outs. The only one is the one you see back here. So that could probably be a little trouble, troublesome as these uh, storms start coming in. But you know it is what it is. So as you see the wind now it's about 15 to 18 miles an hour. That tent is flexing pretty good. You can see those poles flexing. <clears throat> now this tent, we're gonna, this video here is about the Ozark trail tent okay but this tent is also part of another video that's going to be where this tent is competing with a name brand jack wolf skin this is the exolite one person okay i've already have a video on this tent so we're going to leave that up at the top a link for you to click on if you want to see details about this tent. So these two tents are going to go up against each other in a line of storms. All right, for the next five days we have storms. Could be severe, high winds, maybe some hail, lots of lightning, lots of thunder. Who knows, might spin up a funnel cloud or two maybe. You never know. We're in the central part of Texas just outside of Fort Worth, Dallas area. So this place is known for lots of weather, lots of severe weather, especially this time of year. Springtime, spring has sprung. Look at all the grass is green. All right, let's get some measurements of the tent here on the inside. So you are gonna tell this is a one door tent and it does have a vestibule and it's full coverage. <clears throat> now this is a kind of a, uh, a hybrid tent. So there's no mesh body and then rain fly. The mesh has been sewn in with the main part of the tent. So there's just one tent structure. 
there's nothing wrong with that. A lot of name brand tents are starting to make hybrid tents in that manner. So that's not the issue. The issue is, is this tent going to protect you against what's coming? All the storms. They get a good sized door. So that's not too bad. Nice mesh door. Uh, I'm going to get some measurements in here real quick. And then we will show you the inside of this tent. I hope you can see me here. All right, we're going to do the length of the tent. All right, we are 89 inches long. This one is 36 inches wide, so you get three feet of width. That's a nice width on this tent. Okay, we're at 38 inch peak height. So here's a look inside the vestibule. It's not huge, but it's big enough to put your pack, maybe your boots. Ah, let me get situated here. I'm gonna go ahead and close this vestibule door so we can get a quick look at what it looks like there. Okay. All right, there we go. So I wear a size 12 shoe. I'm not going to take them off, but you can kind of see there. It's right up against the tent. It goes about a foot and a half. So, you know, that's, that's not too bad for a single person tent. All right, so like I said, it's just single wall tent. And it's just the hybrid style where you have the integrated mesh door. Uh, this does not look like no seam mesh. That uh, mesh is pretty, pretty wide gaps there. You might be able to get sand fleas, maybe some mites, things like that. Might be able to get through that. Okay, so if the wind is blowing in, it's really pushing in this backside. There is no pole structure, you know, coming out this way to hold that tent out, All right? So we just have that one pole and then that ridge pole. So we've got a little gear loop here for a lantern, whatever you want to do. Here is the mesh window. Okay, so there's the mesh window. Now these seams are taped, heat tape seams, all throughout the tent. I have never seen that on an Ozark Trail tent before, especially one that was sold on the shelf in a Walmart. All right, you get a. Uh, a weird looking little pocket there interesting so you do have reinforcements there where the tie out point is well the anchor point and where the pole goes into and then additionally if we can push this out there's extra material on the corners all four corners okay let's look at the other side here okay so there's plenty of room in this tent that's not the issue when it comes to this particular tent. The issue is, I mean, I'm sitting in here in the center right now, and the back of the tent is right on my back. The tent, the pole structure does not hold the tent out. It needed another anchor point on the outside to stake in the ground right there. That would have helped a lot and uh, maintaining form with this tent with winds. Okay, now to be fair, the company Ozark Trail does not recommend that you use these tents in any kind of storm-like conditions. So why did they tape seal the seams if, you know, they didn't want this to be in any storms? I guess maybe a light rain Maybe the light rain or water.